Hey, what is going on guys, McGinley Customs here, and uh, welcome back to episode 3 of the non-ELS slash Modeler Master Series, Master Guide, whatever you want to call it. Now, uh, it's been a while since the last uh, last episode, <clears throat> we're not going to talk about that, but um, yeah, nevertheless, we're going to get the next couple, or if I say the next couple, we're going to get the rest of the series pumped out very quickly, because, you know, <laughs> I cannot say the word because you know you get demonetized these days for saying it or whatever but because of that certain thing which i think you all know what it is i have five months to do absolutely nothing because my school is over now so i have five months on top of the three months quarantine so if you guys have any video ideas any tutorials you want me to do let me know in the comment section below and i will get that done for you guys so guys as i just mentioned this is episode three and episode three is going to be all about importing merging exporting and export settings now this i believe is the first ep uh, the first episode that will actually be inside of the z modeler free program if you don't have the z modeler free program installed already and all ready to be used and open then what are you actually doing you need to go watch the previous two and the bonus video if you're looking for parts episodes Okay guys, so I'm assuming you've watched the other videos, so we're going to go ahead and open up Zmodel straight away and get into it. Now, like I said, we're going to be covering importing and merging and exporting and export settings. So let's get started straight away. So the classic slow way of exporting, importing and merging would be going up to file. And then you have the three settings here, the three options here. Now, we're going to start merge because that is a nice and easy thing to start with. Now, if you click merge, it will bring up a Windows box. Now, this is just a project I've been working on, a custom project. But when you merge things, you can only merge a Z3D file. You cannot merge an OBJ. You cannot merge a YFT. You can only merge a Z3D file. So once you've found your Z3D file you want to merge in, let's merge the Whelan Avengers in, for example. You'll have this little window here. Now, ignore all of this stuff on the right. That's just the stuff that you want to merge, say, if you don't want to merge the meshes in, uh, which I don't see why you wouldn't want to merge the meshes in, because that's like the whole life as it is. You just tick all that. Now, you can choose the none. Say you only you had a humongous list of, uh, list of elements in this merge list. You can click none. Or you can click all if you have a massive list of items again. Now, you can select multiple ones say i wanted the blue lens and the blue light you just control click them say i wanted all of them but one you select all and then click control click the one that you don't want you can select a list by clicking at the bottom or clicking here for example and then you can select all of the lights all of the elements sorry up to blue light by holding shift and clicking that but for this purpose i'm just going to click all now once you've done that and selected what you want to select in here you click merge now if you have merged something that is already LOD'd, such as these Whelan Avengers, you click L0. Now once you've clicked L0, you will see that uh, there will be some mesh. It could be selected, it could not be selected. The way to tell if it's selected is if it is red, or if it is just black like that. The way to unselect it, the best and quickest way to unselect everything is holding Shift and D. So let's select it, Shift D, unselect everything. Or you can go into your Select tab here, and you can use all of these tools to select something. The best way to select a whole element but just that element is using quad R, like that. Now, this is the hierarchy on the right hand side. We will get into this in a different episode because that is not important at the moment because this episode is purely based on merging, importing and exporting. So, that is how you merge. Things to remember for this option, this merge category, is that you can only merge a Z3D, you cannot merge a YFT or an OBJ file. Now, let's say I wanted to import a file that is not a Z3D because you cannot import a Z3D file. Let's say I had a YFT. Now, the YFT file that I'm going to be using as an example is the gauntlet file. Now, the reason I'm using a GTA vehicle to, uh, to show this is that uh, the YFT of GTA vehicles are all unlocked. Now, one thing to remember about YFTs and listen carefully here, you cannot import it if it is locked. Now, you will be able to tell if it's locked or unlocked from when you go to the import category. I will show you the difference between a locked and an unlocked vehicle in importing in just a second. However, another thing to remember and think about when you have a YFT is when you import the YFT, it imports everything. For example, 
if we go here and import gauntlet it won't ask you like the merge tool did what you want to import it will just import everything now another thing to remember about yfts and when you're importing is that it does not import the textures now if you want to import the textures with it you go to import and then you select your yft and then down here in this little box down here go down to add where it says preload packs <clears throat> and then you want to get the yft the white sorry the ytd file that came with the vehicle now i didn't extract the gauntlet ytd i've only got the vehicle share ytd in there at the moment but it all works the same way and then you click import and then it will import the vehicle with the textures provided in the ytd now another thing that you that is cool about why uh, about the import tool is that you don't only have to import yfts or ytds blah 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 you can also import an obj file an example of an obj file would be a obj that you saved from let's say 3ds max or blender here's just a simple chamfered box that i uh made just a second ago in 3ds max to use this as an example so you want to go to zmodeler go to import and then you go to where your obj file is my one is on my desktop and then here's the chamfered box and i'm going to merge the chamfered box in uh, Im import the chamfered box in sorry and here it is now again you need to remember that it will not ask you it will not ask you what part of that obj you want to import it will just import the whole thing now i'm going to show you the difference between a locked yft and an unlocked yft a locked yft will look like this so you have it here you're about to import it you click import but the button fades out and you just can't click it there is nothing you can do to unlock this you can only contact the author of the vehicle to ask if you can use it with unlocked access and the difference between an un an un a locked vehicle like this and an unlocked is that when you click import it goes straight to the import okay next we have export now one thing you need to remember about export is that the name that is at the top of your hierarchy the master parent dummy which is gauntlet here is what you have to export it as say i wanted to export it as tutorial and then we go to the export tool here that means you have to have to have to have to name it tutorial when you export it will tell you in a message box down here that it's exported successfully if you have this if you have any yellow message warning errors blah 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 just ignore it for now we will get to that in a later video but it is not important now let's see what happens if we wasn't to name this i don't know uh tutorial with two t's and then we export it as tutorial with one t as you can see it will say cannot locate seed no scene node name tutorial that is because the master dummy is not called tutorial now one thing you can do which is pretty cool about the export settings is that you can really reduce the file sizes if you come down here to export lod's you will have a little drop down box which has auto detect all, all but highest highest only and skeleton only now i recommend highest only because that will export the highest detail possible in l0 it will give you the lowest file size but the only problem is you will need to edit the vehicle.meta file to make the lod distance for l0 much further the only downside to that is that it could it could increase performance loss uh it could it could it, the overall it will just make it a bit laggy but not massively now you will see there is a lock option here that is how you lock the vehicle or unlock the vehicle like i just showed you in the imports say thumbnail comment and skeletal doesn't matter you don't need to worry about that you can also export your vehicle as an obj like this say i wanted to name it tutorial you don't need to put the obj it will auto automatically name it as you can see you have the tutorial uh the tutorial obj file and it'll also export an mtl this stands for material so when you import the obj into another program it will take the materials with it now that is everything that i really have to talk about in terms of import exports merging and export settings if you have any problems with this let me know in the in the comment section below and i will definitely 100 percent reply to as many of you as i can again i'm very sorry for the delay uh, i think it was around a month maybe nearly two months uh it's just a lot of stuff has been happening in my life recently and uh you know with this whole thing that i cannot say the word of again 
uh, it's really freed up a lot of time for me, which is really helpful to get this series done. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If this series is helping you, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Anyway guys, I'm looking into customs and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.